Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with episode number four of the interactive Road to Division 1 series. The series where you guys choose the teams that we play with as we push on through the divisions looking to get up to Division 1. Now of course we're in Division 9 at present and as you can see in the background we're starting off today with a game as Arsenal. That was the most popular uh, decision in the comment section of the previous episode. It was suggested by Scouting for FIFA, Dan Fitzpatrick and Adam Keeling. So thank you very much to you guys for the suggestion in the comments of the previous episode. If you want to have your say for the teams we play with in the next episode then feel free to leave a comment down below can I just ask one thing though if you are going to comment feel free but don't leave multiple comments because it a isn't going to uh, improve the chances of me picking that team and b is particularly annoying when it comes to sifting through 70 comments trying to pick out the most popular ones etc and you think well that's quite popular oh no there are five comments from the same guy for the same team so uh, just kind of an ask and a request from me to you rather more than anything else but as you saw in the background as I kind of cut away to that random point. We are actually taking an early 1-0 lead in this one. Mikel Arteta with a fantastic finish across the goalkeeper into that far top corner. Leo Messi having a chance for him there. We went in at half-time 1-0 up and it was actually a game that was very much so played in the midfield. Of course, Arsenal are a team that play a lot of possession football. I personally am a, uh, the sort of FIFA player that likes to play a lot of possession football. And uh, this guy was basically trying to catch me on the counter-attack with a pace of Di Maria and, uh, and Leo Messi and Sergio Aguero, etc., and I was just kind of snuffing it out, trying to build my way through his Argentinian team because they, he does have a lot of pace. So I kind of had to play the ball around a little bit to make sure that I was able to create opportunities. And uh, the first half was very much dead. But we get a little bit of a break there. Ball drops to zero. Good first save. And then Theo Walcott's on the rebound. And another very, very good second save to tip the ball over the bar and keep the ball from going into the back of the net. But we're going to catch him on the counter-attack ourselves here. Messi Ertz with a lovely ball through to, uh, to Olivier Zirou. Doesn't have a lot of pace and there are a lot of defenders closing in around him. So I have to take the shot early and he's just whiskers wide of that far post. A really, really nice shot. Unfortunate that uh, we weren't able to increase the lead there. But we made a couple of changes each. I brought on Ramsey and Oxlade-Chamberlain. He made a couple of very, very attacking changes. Bringing on Lamella and Higuain for Mascarano and uh, his left-back, Rojo. So uh, he definitely was going all out to try and get himself back in the game. And he was fuming. I could hear him through the connect when that double chance went awry. That uh, he was very, very annoyed at, uh, at Wojciech Szczesny. But here I had no option but to, uh, to square the ball was zero I wouldn't have been able to get a shot across and I felt quite bad for uh, for finishing the game in that fashion so I did the kind of apologise uh, celebration just say no I'm sorry it was the only thing I had to do or oh, the only th option I had available to do in that particular uh, circumstance so we are able to run out 2-0 winners as Arsenal against Argentina so uh, pleased to get three points from that one and we come into the next game playing as Aston Villa as suggested by Luke Alexander and Lewis Bevan now uh, unfortunately this is uh, a game that really didn't go too well you'll be able to see we're actually coming up coming up against another national side it's a Swiss national side and uh, it did in fact turn out that this guy was from Switzerland and there was, as you may have imagined, quite a bit of lag involved, plus a lot of uh, rather unfortunate circumstances for myself. He played the ball over the top to Shakiri there. Awful challenge from the defender. Just couldn't time it right. And uh, unfortunately, he's going to pick up a penalty in the 16th minute. And keeping note of the uh, the time of the goal at the at this particular moment in time is very crucial for a kind of the the pattern of this first half. But Akore, awful tackle, just couldn't time it right. Sakiri was too fast, and he's going to put the ball top right with a penalty. Great pen, decent save, a little bit of a sign there of the lag. It, and uh, what was kind of happening throughout the game. Uh, it, at times it got unplayable, but unfortunately for me there, it didn't stop him from putting the ball into the back of the net. And if you check the time, we're just two minutes later, and he's going to pick up a second penalty in two minutes. Uh, this time it was Ron Vla, not Akure, making the challenge. Again, that lag is just amazing. So, so good to uh, to play on a connection like that. Thank you, EA, for pairing me with a guy in Switzerland. But uh, Ron Fla, there wasn't really too much in the challenge. He just kind of leaned on his back. And as the guy was swinging for the shot, it knocked him off balance. He went down. Uh, it was a soft pen, but you could probably understand why the referee gave it. And again, Shakiri pops the ball into the back of the net to make it 2-0. Uh, and then he's going to... I don't know what my defender was doing now. That apparently was an attempted clearing header. Then he falls over the guy and a lovely ball over the top. Fantastic control, rifled finish. And at five minutes after the second penalty, we find ourselves 3-0 down. So three goals in eight minutes puts us a considerable way away from this game. Now, I was trying to clear this ball all the way up to, uh, to Christian Benteke. So you can see it's kind of lagging a little bit as I'm trying to change direction. Then it lags as I'm taking the, the, uh, the clearance and it doesn't power up properly. It only plays it across to his midfielder, squares the ball, 
puts it into the back of the net. I'm 4 0 down in the 35th minute. Absolutely hating on life and everything to do with EA and the internet. I can guarantee you I was going out of my mind at that particular moment in time. The Cool Ray having our probably only decent ish chance of the first half, and unfortunately, that is how the game was going to finish. The second half, the connection just deteriorated even more. No one could have any chances on goal, and it stayed at 4 0. So we pushed into the third and final game, hoping to get something better out of this one. Of course, as you can see, we're playing as Nottingham Forest, as suggested by Jobeline HD and Temper Designs. Thanks to you two for those, uh, for those suggestions. And it was going to be another misplaced pass here. Try to play it back to the right, the uh, left back, plays it to his striker, just going to go through. Square the ball and five minutes in we find ourselves 1-0 down. Dan Gosling popping the ball into the back of the net with his head. So uh, not a very good start. We're kind of continuing on from the end of the last game because there's a second goal in short succession. 14 minutes and it's Blackpool 2 Nottingham Forest nil. So I had to kind of up my game and not long after that we were actually able to get ourselves back in it. Lovely ball over the top from Reed to Matt Darby. who beats one defender to it, holds off the second and then rifles the ball into the back of the net to give us a 2-1 deficit. Now we're only one goal behind and I'll show a replay here because it's fantastic strength from Matt Darby to hold this defender off here. Just an arm on the shoulder doesn't just enough to be able to get the shot away and we're back in the game and then we're into uh, into first half stoppage time he's going to play a ball over the top with Ricardo Fuller watch the defender, I'm running with him for no reason whatsoever he decides to stop and then auto tackle I didn't have any control over that whatsoever I was just running back trying to intercept the ball and uh, we actually end up going 3-1 down thanks to that so I was just the, the level of rage was beyond comparison right now. And then into the second half, he goes on another mazy run with Bishop. And he's able to make it 4-1. That's Bishop's hat-trick. And then we're going to push a little bit later on. We are actually going to get ourselves back into it again. Pull a goal back. Reed with the first tame effort. But uh, Jamie Mackey is going to get there. Stand the ball up. Decent save from the goalkeeper. But Matt Darbus is there to pop the ball into the back of the net. And that's his second of the game and our second of the game. And I was hoping to come back for the last 25 minutes. We'll have a go at him. But he tried to KSI me from the start. And then, as you might imagine, this was the entire rest of the second half. So uh, I have to say, if you personally play like this, uh, you're a dick. I hate you. Please don't. It's completely unfair. And how this is a legitimate tactic still, after years and years and years of people exploiting this, I went to ultra attacking and high pressure and still just couldn't get the ball off his defence because none of the players pushed up high enough to uh, to actually make a difference to the play. So thank you to uh, to that guy for playing as Blackpool, beating me 4-2 and playing like an absolute nonce towards the end of the game. But uh, to be fair, the sort of form I was in, I really didn't stand a chance of getting back into the game anyway. So maybe it was just a matter of just seeing out the game in the exact same way that it would have done had I actually been playing properly or he been playing properly. So uh, I do apologise for having a horrific end to this particular episode, but uh, I will try and come back stronger in the next one. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. Of course, leave your suggestions in the comment section down below so I know who to play with in the next episode. And of course, if you missed the previous episode, there will be an annotation on screen over the left hand fist there to take you to that. If you aren't subscribed to the channel already, feel free to do so there'll be an annotation on the right hand fist there and a link in the description and if you don't follow me on twitter then feel free to do so at chesno gaming there will be a link to that in the description as well but that's going to bring this one to a close guys thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time